It's tough being a kid inventor. I mean, how do you find the time to change the world when you're always in class, doing homework, or playing with your toys? Lucky for the millions around the world with impaired vision, one teen combined his smarts and his toys to help the blind read. Adam Yamaguchi explains. Living with blindness is a daily challenge. That's because people with impaired vision must rely on their other senses to help them see. When it comes to reading, the sense of touch is important. Blind people use their fingertips to read books printed in Braille. Braille is a tactile writing system invented in 1824 by a 15-year-old French boy named Louis Braille, who lost his eyesight in a childhood accident. Braille is created using raised bumps or dots on paper, and the number and arrangement of these dots creates letters and characters that a blind person can recognize by moving their fingers across the pattern of dots on a page. But printing books in Braille is a very expensive process, meaning millions of people don't have access to them. The normal cost for a Braille printer is uh, approximately $2,000, and um, the really good ones can get up to, what, $50,000. And uh, that's when I thought that I really wanted to do something about this. Shubham Banerjee was 12 when he created his own Braille printer, and he built it out of Legos. I hopped on a flight to Santa Clara, California to meet the teen who, like Louis Braille nearly two centuries earlier, hoped to help the visually impaired read. Honestly, I didn't really think I could do it myself, but I knew that I had to at least try. Show me this printer. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, Brago 1.0, which uh, I've been working on the first version. This is the brick. It's the main part of the robot. It's where you input the value. See, you have uh, letters A through Z all here. There's three motors over here. This one, it moves the head up and down so it can make the imprints. This motor over here moves the head right and left, and they all work in coordination to print on the paper. So that's some Braille right there. Oh, wow. Shubham's father bought him a special Lego kit with robotic parts to help him build his first prototype. How did you go about building something this complex? I kept on like putting random parts together. Uh, this head over here, it's uh, what makes the dots on the paper. This took me a long time to build because you know I had to innovate and I got a real head that would be moving and working, so. Uh, so this here is the real innovation? Yeah, this is what makes the imprints on the paper. Shubham's Braille printer won awards and garnered lots of attention, not only from organizations that help the blind, but from heavy hitters in the tech world like Intel, who invested a quarter of a million dollars in Shubham to turn his prototype into a real product. His Brago 2.0 uses a special microchip and software that automatically translates text into Braille. Where does the translating happen? It all happens on the chip itself. So you could take a document written in English, mm -hmm. know nothing about Braille, yeah. hit print, and you have a Braille document. Yep. Do $5,000 Braille printers have that capability? No, not at all. Shubham's Braille printer should be on the market soon, but despite his success, he's still a teenage boy with homework, sports, and a little sister, Anushka, who has her own job description in Shubham's new company. Be cute. 